Yo, what's up everybody? In this video, we're going to go over rationalizing one-term radicals. And one-term radicals usually take this form, a root b over c root d, where a, b, c, and d can pretty much be any real number, but usually they're just some kind of integer. And the reason why they're called one-term radicals is because whatever you're rationalizing, whether the numerator or the denominator, it only has one term. So for example, if there's like a plus or minus of another term, then that would be a two-term radical, and the way you rationalize that is a little bit different. So we'll cover that in a future video, but for now we're just going to work with these one-term radicals where there's no other term added or subtracted to it. Now usually you'll be asked to rationalize the denominator, and what that means is you're pretty much taking this radical and you want to create an equivalent expression with no radicals in the denominator. So if we take our general expression, and write it over here, what we want to do is we want to try to get rid of this root d in the denominator, we're rationalizing the denominator. So what you want to do is you want to multiply it by whatever that radical is in both the numerator and the denominator because that's like we're multiplying it by 1, it will be the same expression. But now what happens when we multiply this out we'll have a root b times root d is just root bd, c, and then root d times root d would just give us d by itself. And now notice how this expression here and this expression here, they're equivalent because we just multiplied it by 1. But notice how now in the denominator there are no radicals left. So for example, let's say that we got 3 root 5 over 2 root 3 and we're asked to rationalize the denominator. So we need to create an equivalent expression without this radical 3 in the denominator. Well what you do is you take that whole expression and multiply it by root 3 over root 3, which is like multiplying it by 1. And then 3 root 5 times root 3, that would just give us 3 root 15 all over 2 root 3 times root 3, the root 3's would just change into a 3, like that. And then we can actually simplify this. The, uh, notice how the 3's will cancel out, so we would just be left with root 15 over 2. We could have also multiplied the denominator, we'd have 3 root 15 over 6, but then the 3 and the 6 would uh, simplify to 1 over 2. So this root 15 over 2 is equivalent to our original expression 3 root 5 over 2 root 3. But now notice how there's no radicals in the denominator. And you can always check your answer by taking the original expression, plugging it into your calculator, you'll get some kind of decimal number, then plug in your answer that you got and you should get the same decimal amount. Now more often than not, you'll be asked to rationalize the denominator, but sometimes you'll also be asked to rationalize the numerator, and it's the same thing. You're just creating an equivalent expression with no radicals in the numerator this time. So if we take our general format, a root b over c root d, and we're asked to rationalize the numerator, well in this case we want to get rid of the root b in the denominator, so or in the numerator rather. So what we would do is we would multiply it by root b over root b. And then a root b times root b, that would just give us a b. And then in the denominator we would have c, because there's like this 1 in front of the root b, so c times 1 is just c. And then the radicals we multiply, so root d times root b would just give us root b d. So this expression and this expression are equivalent, but notice how now in this expression there are no radicals in the numerator because we rationalized it. So for example, let's take the same term that we had here, 3 root 5 over 2 root 3, but instead of rationalizing the denominator, now we're going to rationalize the numerator. So we would take this and multiply it by that radical in the numerator. So we would put the radical in the numerator and the radical in the denominator, so it's like we're multiplying it by 1. So 3 root 5 times root 5, well the 3 just stays as is, root 5 times root 5 is just 5 itself. 2 root 3 times root 5, you would multiply the radicals, the 2 would stay by itself, and we'd have root 15 in the denominator. And now the 3 times 5, that just gives us 15, and the denominator stays as itself. It'd be 15 over 2 root 15. So this 
expression is equivalent to this expression. And now notice how there's no radicals in the numerator left because we rationalized it. And again, you can always check your answer with these types of questions by plugging in your original expression in your calculator, getting the decimal amount, and then plugging in your final answer and making sure that decimal amount is equal. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.